Hydration is critical when you're enjoying the outdoors, but water can be heavy and depending on what you're doing, you might not want to wear a backpack. This is my go-to for carrying water on shorter runs and hikes when I don't want to deal with a pack. It holds 22 ounces of water, has room for fuel and other items, and I almost don't even notice it on my hand. Today, I'll give you a full review and summary after owning it for over two years. Let's get into it. Although I hate to admit it, I am a sweaty runner and hiker. What this means is that I have to take water with me on just about every run that's gonna be longer than 30 minutes, especially if it's hot outside. Now, I'd heard of some methods like stashing water bottles in the bushes or planning routes that include drinking fountains, but since almost all of my running is done on trails and I also need a solution for hiking, I knew that those methods weren't going to work. Definitely no drinking fountains on the trails where I want to go. I also didn't feel like a hydration pack was warranted for runs that were gonna be less than an hour. Running up those steep inclines is hard enough without a pack on my back holding five pounds of water. Enter the Nathan Speedmax Plus handheld water bottle. Here are five things I love about this water bottle. First, I hardly even notice it on my hand when I'm running. Because of the way the strap is constructed and the way that you can tighten it, it stays on my hand really well and you can see I don't even have to actually hold the water bottle. I can keep my fingers relaxed and the water bottle stays on my hand just fine. The other thing that's great about this is that when I trip on the trails, which happens more often than I'd like to admit, my water bottle doesn't go tumbling down the mountain. If that's happened to you, help me feel a little bit better about myself and let me know in the comments. I can also use this water bottle even when I'm running with both of my dogs on separate leashes. Next, it is really easy to get a drink out of this water bottle without stopping or even breaking your stride. The lid is easily opened with your other hand or even your teeth. The bottle's flexible enough that you can squeeze it to get a drink out of, and then you can quickly close it with your other hand and be on your way without even missing a step. Another thing I really like about it is this little zipper pocket on the side. It's just big enough for my keys, a couple gels, some electrolyte mix, and if I'm running with the dogs, my Rough Wear Trail Runner Bowl and some poop bags. The fourth thing I'll mention is that the opening on this water bottle is huge, which is really nice if you're trying to put in electrolyte mix or load it up with ice cubes for a run on a hot day. There is nothing worse than spilling your electrolytes all over the counter or the trail just because you're trying to pour them into a tiny opening on your water bottle. The opening is big, which is really nice. And last, durability. Did I mention that I trip on the trails sometimes? Because I do. There's been several times when I'm running on the trails, I'm getting tired and I biff it hardcore and this is the first thing to hit the ground with all of my weight behind it. Even after two years of my clumsy running, this thing is not cracked or had any other issues with durability. This Nathan Speedmax Plus takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Do people even say that anymore? They've never said that? But this bottle isn't perfect, and there's a few things you might not like about it. First and foremost is the price. This water bottle will cost you $30. Yikes. But I've relied on this water bottle so heavily, and it's worked so well for so long, I honestly think that, for me, it was worth the cost. Next, the pocket is not big enough to hold a phone. If I want to take my phone with me, I have to bring it in an armband or a waist belt, but it's definitely not fitting in this pocket. Nathan does sell a version where the pouch is designed to hold a phone, but I personally have found a lot of freedom in running without my phone, so I like this version. I'll include a link to both in the description below. The third thing I'll bring up, even though it's a little bit strange, is I've noticed when I load this thing up with ice, my hand is freezing. Even on really hot days when the rest of me is burning up, this hand gets really cold because of the ice cold water in my bottle. Now, Nathan does sell an insulated version that may solve this problem, but it's four ounces smaller and $7 more. So I just put a little bit less ice in or deal with having a cold hand. Kind of weird, but it's something that I've noticed in using it. And the last thing that I feel like I should bring up is I have read that running with things in your hand can impact your running form. Now, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, I'm not an expert in running form, but it's something that I read, so I just wanted to bring it up. I can only go based on my experience, which has been fantastic. I really like this water bottle. Now, before we go, and because I really like weighing things, I will show you over here just how much this water bottle weighs empty. 
filled with water and loaded down with fuel, car keys, water bowl, and other items. It's a fantastic water bottle. I really like it. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up below. And if you pick up a Nathan Speedmax or have another preferred handheld water bottle, let me know in the comments. Remember, life is better with some dirt in it.